Here's the solution to this hands-on exercise. So I'm going to create a new folder. 0, 3. And then create a new file, main. And this is package main and func main. And then I have to create a new function. So func foo. And, uh, and if I had returns, it'd be there, but that's the basics for a function. And I want to take in a string, any variable. And I also want to take in an int. And so this, these are the parameters. When I define my function, I could pass values in. So I define my function with parameters. And I could pass values into that. So um, when I pass a value of type string into this function and type int into this function, I'm going to pass in a string and an int, I have to pass them in as this in this order. So I will call this function foo, and I have to pass in a string, and I also have to pass in an int. So I defined my function with parameters. It's going to take a value of type string and a value of type int, and I call my function with arguments. It's going to take an argument of types of, of type string and an argument of type int in that order. When I pass in Todd here to this string, it gets assigned to a variable x. When I pass in 42 here to this int, it gets assigned to a variable y. The scope of x and y is this function. I could use and reference the variables x and y inside that function, not anywhere else. So I could come here and I could do format print line x comma y and that should run. Now the nice thing about functions, this allows us to modularize our code. We take a chunk of code and we put it into a function and we call that function something that it does. I calculate grade maybe. So if we're you know, working with students, we could have a function calculate grade, which will get all the scores for a student, calculate the grade, grade and return a result. We only have to write that function once and we could call it over and over. So it allows us to not repeat ourselves in our code. Do not repeat yourself. Dry is the principle. And it allows us to call a function many times. I don't know who's 17. I will do my friend Cole. And now when I run this, right, each time it called that function, it passed in arguments of the requested type, and then it signed those to variables, and then it ran the code here. So the program entered here, it ran foo, it ran foo, it ran foo, it ran foo, it ran foo program exited. So that's this solution to this problem. Create a func. We created a func. It takes two arguments, a value of type string and a value of type int. It takes two arguments, a value of type string, a value of type int. The func should print out two values. It prints out the two values. From func main, call the func you made and pass in your name and age called the funk I made and passed in my name and a number. <laughs> and then call the funk again and pass in the name and age of one of your friends. So I called it again and passed in the name and age of other people. 
So some important concepts covered there. This is a function. Right? So we created a function. Functions allow us to modularize our code and dry, do not, don't repeat yourself. Right? As opposed to if I just had, you know, all of that over and over and over again up here. Oh, man, I'm writing the same code over and over and over. Modularize it. Right? And this function, functions, funks are defined with parameters. Parameters specify a value of a certain type to be passed in when the func is called. And then when we call a func, we pass in arguments, right? Anybody have any questions about that? I see some people struggling a little bit maybe with just sort of understanding this idea of putting our code into different places and then calling it. So the mind learns well through association. And what that means is if you go to, like let's say a friend takes you to karate, his karate practice, and then afterwards you go get amazing Mexican food, and then next week he says, hey, let's go to karate, and you think, cool, I wonder if we're going to amazing Mexican food afterwards. Karate and Mexican food got associated in your mind. Or in my sequel class, which Roxanne's in with me, uh, I, couldn't I, did, I, I didn't remember the student's name until I, I, I told a story about how you say can in Spanish. La, lata, like a can. And then as soon as like, I did that, my mind went back to when that story occurred a week before and when I learned his name, and his name Jose came to me. So that story, Lata, and his name were all associated in my mind. So as soon as I said the Lata story, I'm like, oh yeah, his name's Jose came to my head. So the mind learns through association. I'm telling you that because some of you I could see are struggling a little bit with this idea that, you know, we kind of modularize our code and put it into functions and then call those functions. And so a good thing is to think about something that we can compare that to, some sort of an analogy. And an analogy might be like storage containers in your fridge. Right? Like, so you get done with dinner and you had steak and you had salad and you had rice. Well, if you threw all that into one container, it's just kind of going to be a big mess. You know? And you throw that in the fridge, you pull it out, now the rice and the salad and the steak, all the flavors are messed up. But if you put them each into their own container and then store them in the fridge, when you're ready to use them again, you pull them back out, out and open up each container. And it's like, oh, cool. You know, there's my salad container, there's my, my container for steak, there's my container for rice. And you get the container with the stuff in it that you want. In the same way, these are containers. And we put into them things that are related. Like here is the function which prints out the name and the age. Cool, we only want to write that function once, and then we could use it over and over and over. Or here's the function that calculates a student's grade. Cool, we only want to write that once, and then for each student we'll call it. And so that's called calling a function. When we call a func, right, we pass in arguments. Does that, how many people are feeling like on a scale of 0 to 10, what's your clarity on this stuff here? Good, 10, 10, 10. Eight nine. Eight nine. Huh? You good? Nine? Eight? Good? Cool. All right, great. Glad to hear it. We're getting it. I want to make sure the pace is right for the audience that I got. So it doesn't matter how far we go. 
if we go too fast and you don't understand any of it, that's not going to serve anyone. So we're just doing what we do, doing what we can do.